All right, child. The question is, um, how do people not get emotional being a family social worker? Um, I know this is one thing that schools do not teach you when you're going into social work. I've been a social worker to be 24 years in May, and school does not teach you how to manage your emotions being a social worker, being a teacher, being any kind of helping professional. I guess I put it that way, because we all have to go through difficult things, difficult conversations um, that we sometimes don't, don't even want to have with our own family and friends, I guess I put it that way. Um, the main thing that I can tell you from what I've experienced and what I went through and that kind of thing as well in the field is that you have to learn how to deal with your own ish first. Dealing with your own situations that, you're, that, that you've been through, whether it's been sexual trauma, sexual abuse, or domestic violence, whatever it is. Family members being killed, whatever it is. You have to deal with your own ish first. Or in the process of why you're doing these things, I guess I put it that way, if you're already in the field. Because otherwise you want to be triggered by a lot of things that these folks are talking about, a lot of things that they're saying. You want to get emotional and want to cry and because so-and-so living in this a bad apartment and all this kind of stuff is going on. Like I said, you have to deal with your own ish first around these social issues. Like I said, school definitely does not teach you that. But like I said, I can talk to somebody about any some, some of anything and of course not get emotional or that kind of thing because I've had some crazy experiences too growing up. Y'all might have breathed. I'm actually walking out here on a break. But, um, it, but, but based off my experiences growing up and that kind of thing as well, I've been through a lot of the things and sometimes worse than my, than, than my clients have been through. So of course it hadn't it, it it didn't really touch me as much as somebody that hasn't been in those situations. And it's probably gonna get kind of loud, y'all. But like I said, dealing with your own ish first is always key with those triggers that you have, with the things that you may have hangups about, with the things that you may not agree with and want to fight against and all this kind of stuff. Dealing with your own ish first, y'all.